And good morning and thank you for staying with us on this Sunday morning. It is 7.30. I'm Steve Alexander. We continue to follow some breaking news, a major story in Baldwin County. Officials report now still three people are dead, at least 12 others hurt following a shooting at a May Day party in Stockton. Fox 10's Hal Shurik is live with the latest that we know in the shooting. Hal, what can you tell us? Well, Steve, uh, I'm here at North Baldwin Infirmary. This is where many of those victims that you just talked about were brought overnight. Uh, this happened uh, all began before midnight, but uh, things played out long into the early morning hours this morning on Mother's Day. Uh, now, we are told by the Baldwin County Major Crimes Unit that even after the folks that were uh, shooting victims were brought to the hospital here, there were uh, tempers flared. Folks showed up, quite a few actually, uh, reports of 100 or more even came to the hospital. Uh, there were some altercations here uh, after the fact. Now, what we are told is that uh, at least two people were believed to have fired weapons at this May Day party, which was off uh, Upper Bryant's Road in the Stockton community. Uh, we we're told there could have been up to a thousand people attending at the time that all of this happened. It started with some sort of altercation, ended in gunfire, a uh, chaotic scene there as uh, witnessed through some Facebook video posts that people have put up. Uh, I have seen some of those and I can tell you that from the, the looks of what I saw there, uh, just chaotic. Folks running in different directions, yelling uh, what appeared to be uh, several shooting victims laying on the ground uh, at this party. It was at a residence of some sort. We don't have any identification of the victims right now. And as far as suspects go, the Baldwin County Major Crimes Unit says that they have one main suspect that they believe they know who it is, but have not uh, been able to locate or at least had not picked that suspect up as of early this morning. I've reached out to see if that's changed, if anybody's in custody. I have not heard back yet. They say there could be another shooter involved as well. Now, 15 people in total injured, uh, hurt, not clear if all 15 were hit by gunfire or if uh, some of those injuries uh, were sustained in other ways as a result of this mass shooting uh, that occurred last night. Uh, there's still a lot of questions, a lot of people being interviewed uh, by representatives of the Baldwin County Major Crimes Unit. That unit was activated last night uh, because of just the scope of this uh, this pending investigation. This investigation is actually underway. Uh, so many folks to interview, so many victims, and uh, deputies are asking that anybody that was there, that saw anything, that can help in this, uh, that has not already been interviewed by a law enforcement officer, please reach out to the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office. They need to talk to you. They're trying to see and try to figure out exactly what happened. But as it stands right now, it's a very uh, empty parking lot this morning. Uh, not so last night. Things are very quiet. Uh, we caught up with uh, the commander of the Baldwin County Major Crimes Unit early this morning uh, as they were still looking for that suspect. And um, this is what he had to say. This isn't a case that we can, you know, uh, put in the box and have it all ready in just a couple of minutes. It's going to take a little while. Yes, and, and they're asking for any help once again uh, from anybody who may have seen anything last night. If you haven't already met with a, a investigator, please reach out. They'd like to hear from you. Uh, they're trying to piece all this together. Victims were taken to multiple hospitals uh, around the area. We're told not, not only here at North Baldwin, but with so many victims, uh, there are hospitals, other area hospitals, including Mobile County, uh, where some were taken. Once again, this all occurred at what was described as a May Day party attended by up to a thousand people. People at, a, at a residence up on Upper Bryant Landing Road, that's north of Stockton, um, last night, and all this broke out sometime before midnight, and very active scenes both there and then later here at North Baldwin Hospital, where many of those victims came initially. A lot of folks came from that party over here. There were tempers, altercations uh, that happened here. Uh, everything has since quieted down, but this investigation has a long way to go. That's uh, what we know right now. Of course, stay tuned right here on Fox 10 News and online fox10tv.com and our social media pages for any updates. We'll bring them to you as soon as we know. Live in Baymanette, Hal Sherrick, Fox 10 News.